Good morning team and welcome to um, the very first Smoothie Bowl making demo that Bolinara has ever done. Um, we're so excited to share some of our recipes with you guys while you are isolated away and can't come to the shop. Um, we know we've been making lots of different recipes and uh, cooking up a storm in the kitchen. So we're going to get right to it. Um, one of the recipes that lots of you asked about and asked us for is our March bowl of the month, which we didn't actually get to finish. So we're going to make that for you today. It's called the Supercharger Smoothie Bowl and it's full of really good um, protein, good fats. So it's going to keep you full for the whole day long. So we're going to get straight into it. Um, First of all, one thing to remember is that if you don't have some of these exact ingredients at home, of course you can go out and get them next time you're in the supermarket, but also we can really adapt and just basically use anything that you've got in the house. Um, I'm going to do some of that today. Um, we will give you the exact recipe that we did use, um, but no worries at all if you don't have those exact ingredients. So I'll show you what you can swap and, swap and change today. So we're going to start off with our blender, our blender jug. Now the key for a smoothie bowl is really that we want to make sure that we don't put too much liquid in. And this is a really tricky um, line to get right. Um, we do use coconut cream for most of the base of our bowl, so I'm going to put some coconut cream in today. As you can see, it's a little bit thicker than a normal liquid, so you can use a little bit more of it, although we still want to try and use the minimum possible. So it's about 100 grams, so we always want to put this in. I'm just going to take this on, actually. We always want to put that liquid in first, whatever liquid you're using, whether that's a nut milk, whether that's even water will do, um, but coconut cream for this bowl especially gives it that really nice um, texture, creamy texture. Next we want to put in our frozen banana, so make sure that it is chopped and peeled and frozen at least the night before you use it. We want it to be quite nice and hard when we're using it. So I'm going to put that in. That's about 100 grams as well. Um, and you'll notice I'm not actually measuring anything out right now. Like a lot of you won't have kitchen scales. Um, I don't have kitchen scales either. So I'm just sort of doing it by sight. Um, but if you do have scales, you can measure all that out and we'll give you the measurements of that. Um, next, we have got our cold coffee. So... Um, I've chilled this in the fridge overnight as well. That's just from my stove top. Um, you can use plunger, you can use espresso, whatever you have. Um, the amount that you're using is about the same as an espresso shot, so about 30 grams. So I'm just going to pour that in. And of course that acts as our liquid as well, so we want to make sure we're not using too much of it, otherwise it's not going to turn into a very creamy bowl. Um, next is our dates. So you'll see mine are nice and soft here. Um, and that is because I've soaked them just in a bit of warm water. And this is so that they do stay nice and soft and they actually blend up rather than being that hard sort of dates that you'd normally use. And then we've got our protein. So I'm using today, um, in the recipe, it is a, um, a two island salted caramel protein, which is delicious. Um, but today I'm using the vanilla and coconut one. So it's going to be more of like a vanilla coffee bowl for me. But um, if you do have the salted caramel protein, definitely use that. Um, so I'm going to do a heaped spoon of that. Into the blender. Perfect. And then what am I missing? I've got um, on the recipe it is almond butter, which does give it a really, really nice flavour. Um, I haven't got any almond butter at home at the moment, so I'm going to use an everything butter, which does have almond in it. It's delicious if you haven't tried it before. Would highly recommend. It's a Great fix and fog addition. Now, 20 grams is what we've said, so that's about a heaped 
teaspoon um, but again with nut butter it's really personal preference I always overdo it rather than underdo it as everyone at Bowl and Arrow will know um, and then we're just going to put we don't we don't do this in every bowl but this one just because it does have a little bit more liquid content we're going to put a little bit of ice in um, just to make sure that it does blend nice and thick and depending on the size of your ice cubes really um, you can judge how many you want to put in. Um, also if you are making a smoothie, if you'd rather make a smoothie than a bowl, obviously just up the liquid content and um, you might just want to add some water or really just have a play around and see what works for you just so that you can uh, drink it with a straw rather than with a spoon. Okay, and we've got in the blender now. Just gonna make sure I didn't miss anything off. No. So we want to blend it only a little bit to begin with, and then we can see how liquidy it's gonna go. So we're just gonna give it a blend now. Basically, the only thing that we're going to need for that. It's nice, looking nice and thick in here. Yeah, smells great. Okay, so once you've blended that and you're happy with your blend, definitely try not to over blend it. Um, it will go quite liquidy if you do that. Um, then you can grab your bowl, pour it in, and we just want to. Make sure there's none of those banana lumps there. It's looking pretty delicious. And so this recipe will obviously is just making one serving, but you can always change it up and um, make some for your family as well. Put that off to the side. So we've got a really nice thick bowl there. Um, if you can see, I'll just move these off to the side. And now to top it. So this is another thing which you can really use your own judgment on and whatever you like to top your smoothie bowls with, feel free to just go for it. I'm gonna just show you how we top that supercharger bowl. So first of all, um, we're using the Blue Frog Kumara Mix Spice Granola on this one. It's a really nice flavor um, that really goes with coffee and with that caramelly sort of flavor. Um, same one that we use in our salted caramel bowl. So we want probably about half a cup, or well, this is actually a third of a cup, so um, about that much. We like to just put it down the side and I just do a little bit more for today. Down the side of the bowl. Um, you can use coconut flakes, you can use desiccated coconut, anything like that, whatever, um, whatever you feel like. Then um, a little dollop of coconut yogurt, which is always also really delicious um, on the side. It kind of gives it that tart flavor along with the coffee caramelly taste, which is really nice. Um, you can chop up a few, um, a few coffee beans if you'd like to put those on the top. It is quite strong, so I um, would only really advise if you do really like that coffee flavor. And we also use um, a few slices of pear on this one. Pear is a really um, good fruit to use along with, again, that coffee flavor. Um, there's not too many fruits which do go nicely with coffee. Um, but yeah, I would advise probably pear or apple or actually um, a few of our staff members did have it with the berries as well, which is actually surprisingly really nice. So we can, I've already pre-sliced these, but you can just slice them up and then just put them down the side there. And you have your bowl. Delicious and filling. That's going to keep you full until lunchtime. So enjoy that. Let me know if you have any other questions or comments or anything. Um, and we will be back next time. Right, cheers.